This is HowToTrapBeavers.com. I'm Chris Pope, and in this segment, we're going to run through trap preparation and getting your traps ready to set. So, you want to protect your traps. You don't want them, especially water traps and beaver traps. They're going to be sitting in the water. They're going to rust. You want to protect them somehow. You don't want them to just rust up. That's bad for them. So, you want to put some kind of protective coating on them. And I like to use Speed Dip. And it's just, you know, they've got um, logwood dye and different things you can use. And it all works fine. I like Speed Dip. You mix it, uh, a quart of Speed Dip, with a gallon of gasoline or Coleman fuel, whichever you prefer. Whatever's cheapest is generally how I go by it. And so I buy it by the by the gallon and I just mix everything up in a five gallon jug or a five gallon bucket I can put a lid on it keep it and use it as I need it I really like that the five gallon buckets big enough to put conna bears in and treat them so I just mix it up and you get a nice black looking dye and then it's just as simple as taking your traps and it, all, it helps it sounds counterintuitive but it helps to get a slight coating of rust on traps especially if they're brand new to make them take the dye easier but you just dip them in the dye, let them sit for a minute, and these conna bears are a little large. I've only got about a gallon mixed up here. So dip them in there, flip them over, make sure they get coated good. Kind of slosh them around a little bit. I wear rubber gloves. I've gotten to where I wear rubber gloves with just about everything just because it's clean up so easy. I don't get that gas and stuff on my hands. But let it set in there, pull it out, shake it off a little bit and then hang it up to dry. Now a lot of people are concerned with using speed dip and you're mixing it with gasoline and that's going to leave a leave a foul odor on your traps and you know generally you want traps clean smelling but um, the, the gasoline evaporates pretty quick. Once I hang them up I leave them hanging for a couple days a week something like that just to make sure that all the smell is off dip my footholds everything just it's it's so easy you don't have to worry about boiling water or anything like that or letting them sit in there long. You can do a lot of traps in a short amount of time just like this. And like I say, once I dip them, I hang them up in an out of the way place, let them air out for three or four days, and then they're ready to go. I do, I do my snares too. You know, it's just so easy. You can get everything coated very well. It doesn't take long. Dip snares by the dozen in there. Hang them up. Even trapping tools, my stakealizers, anything that can rust, I like to try to try to protect it as best I can. So, stick my stakealizers in there, my my trap setters. You know, it you can't get it all treated, but you can help protect as much of it as you can. So, that's just good good protection for your traps. That's going to make your traps last longer and work better. And if you like what you see here, go check us out at HowToTrapBeavers.com. We've got a whole YouTube channel that you can subscribe to. We've got a bunch of different videos, more coming on the way. Our goal is to teach you everything you need to know about catching beavers from start to finish. So uh, if you've got any questions, shoot us a question at how to questions at howtotrapbeavers.com. Go check out our website. Leave us a comment on YouTube. Let us know what you think about it. Thanks.